Have you ever wondered how the insects in movies do exactly what they're supposed to? How do they know they're even in a movie scene and play along with the plot? Like the spider that bites Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire, in Spider-Man. The bees that swarm Matt Damon in We Bought a Zoo. The spider that walks four feet and slips into a slipper in the cult classic, Arachnophobia. Or the giant mosquitoes in Jurassic Park. It turns out that there's actually a person behind all these shots, manipulating the insects to do his bidding. That man is Stephen Kutcher, 69, an entomologist who has been working in Hollywood since 1976. He has been a part of over 100 feature films, numerous commercials, music videos and TV movies. I think of myself as a bug wrangler, a consultant. I'm not the cheap guy who trains dogs and chickens and happens to have a tarantula, he said. I'm both a scientist and an artist. I think Steven Spielberg said I was the first entomologist in the film industry. I brought the science of insect behavior to the film industry. It's pretty obvious that Mr. Kutcher takes immense pride in what he does. It isn't unusual to find Kutcher's home swarming with creatures from the insect world. He has about 15 pet tarantulas, 200,000 dead flies stored in gallon jars, handy for dirty kitchen scenes, three cages of cockroaches, five dead insect collections and an insect zoo. It's no wonder that he lives alone. This kind of house is hardly a venue for a first date. Incidentally, his ex-wife left him for a geologist. But Kutcher seems to have no regrets. After all, it's the bugs that really paid for the house. Cockroaches and flies paid for my house. Who would have thunk it, he marvels. Hollywood directors love Kutcher's work because he is an expert at achieving a sickeningly natural look. But modern filmmaking involves the use of a green screen, where the insect and actor don't necessarily have to meet. Kutcher isn't too happy about this technology. Maybe it's time someone make a film about him, with his enormous insect collection. He could star as himself, perhaps.